And the Troy Waterfront Farmer's Market is offering more than just great produce. Our Tamani Woolley will be showing us how some local artists brought out the personality of the Lansingburg community for shoppers. Well, you may have to wait a few months to see a lacrosse game here in the Capital Region, but there is some local art you can check out as soon as this weekend. New murals are up at the Troy Waterfront Farmer's Market in Lansenburg. Our Tamani Woolley joins us now to tell us more about this project. Good morning, Tamani. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, everybody. Happy Hump Day. As always, I pray this finds you safe and healthy and ready to uplift your spirits with some beautiful handcrafted artwork in Lansingburg because the Troy Waterfront Farmers Market has moved inside through the end of March and they have painted murals throughout the building at 865 Second Avenue. We have the privilege of meeting one of the artists now, Miss Joyce Chan. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So Joyce, tell everybody why you wanted to participate in this mural project at the farmer's market. I've always wanted to paint something a large, a mural. Um, I've never had an opportunity to. And when I saw the market um, having this project, um, I asked Steve, he was familiar with some of my other artworks. I mostly work with drawing and cut paper now. So I thought this was a great way to get back into painting. I hadn't painted in 10 years and to do it big. And I'm jealous. Everybody who knows me knows I wish I was artistic. I'm not. I can color my butt off, but I can't paint or draw. So what is the inspiration behind your murals? So um, I have two murals at the market. Uh, one is at First Choice Caribbean Spot and the other is between Color City Cold Press and La Capital Tacos. And the vendors were my inspiration. Um, the First Choices Merrill is, is based on Jamaica's national flower. And at Collar City Cold Press and La Capital Tacos, it's um, some winter vegetables. I never thought I'd crave her beet juice, but that's what I go to the market for. And um, Mexican papel picado banners, which I've always been interested in looking at. The designs are beautiful. I think especially during COVID, what has it meant to you and the other artists you've had an opportunity to talk to while you've been painting these murals since right after uh, the holidays to have this kind of opportunity and this blank canvas to work on? I think it's been an amazing opportunity. I think it was great to go out in an open, safe space and speak to people in different ways, learn about the whole process and figure it out and um, just get creative and play with colors and I'm really happy in the way that I came out and that the designs and everything came out great. And I got to learn a lot about their cultures also. I love it. Well, shout out to you, Joyce, because you also work with the Troy Bid. So Troy is close and near and dear to your heart. So let's uh, give a lot of support and a big shout out to Joyce for that. All right, everybody, you can go see these murals every Saturday from 9 to 2 at the Farmer's Market. You can support local vendors and farmers while you're there. From 10 to 2, it's Make It Upstate New York Marketplace, which is arts and crafts vendors. And again, that is uh, at 865 2nd Avenue in Lansingburg. Great opportunity to go and visit Lansingburg and support that community. It's there until the end of March and then prayerfully the market moves outside. All right, everybody, that's the latest from here. Sending it back to you. All right, thank you very much, Tamani. And if you want to make your mark on the city of Troy, here are more opportunities out there. The Troy Bid is taking graphic design submissions for their Troy Night Out series. There is no submission fee. The opportunity is open to all, and there is a $150 stipend. You can find more information about this on the Troy Bid website. Submissions are due March 15th.